up to 20 people are thought to be missing as a bridge collapsed after being hit by a container ship in the US city of Baltimore. And joining me now to discuss this is marine salvage expert, Captain John Noble. Um, John, uh, thank you very much indeed for joining me on this. Obviously, we don't know how many people have died, but certainly people in those waters after this has happened, this bridge collapsing incredibly quickly. If you're watching on Talk TV, you can see uh, just yeah. how quickly it, uh, it, it, uh, dis it went into the water, John. Um, are you surprised at just uh, the, the rapidity of this? I think I am surprised because I, I've never seen something like this before. And um, it's it, it, these structures are not meant to be hit by ships, so they're not really designed to withstand that sort of impact. And, that, and that's that's kind of the point. I mean, this is, I suppose, something that we we really hope doesn't happen, but it's not out of the realms of possibility. But the bridge just collapsed collapsed so incredibly quickly. What what will yeah. happen now, John? Well, the first thing, of course, is the safety of life aspect. And to try and rescue people from the water as quickly as possible. And I imagine this is exactly uh, what happened. But um, th the next thing will be to recover um, the bodies of those who didn't survive. Mm. And then there'll be a full investigation as to why the ship um, hit the bridge. It, it, you're an expert in marine salvage. I mean, the uh, U.S.'s National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the current water temperature in Baltimore Harbour is about 9 or 10 degrees Celsius. If you're out in the air and it was 9 or 10 degrees Celsius, you, Celsius you'd probably be wearing a coat. But if you're, in, uh, if you're in waters that are that low temperature, I mean, that is about 10 or 11 degrees below what is probably survivable. We don't know a lot about this, and I don't want to speculate, but there's no. almost certainly some loss of life here. Well, yes. I mean, people would not survive very long in water of that temperature, maybe 10, 15 minutes. I mean, it, it just depends on the individual and what they were wearing. But uh, safety of life is a priority uh, before any investigation. And I imagine a, a, a rescue operation was initiated very quickly. I would certainly hope so. Yes, and we're just hearing that the governor of Maryland, uh, the state that Baltimore is in, on the eastern seaboard of the United States, uh, that governor has declared a state of emergency, and that allows them, of course, to do certain things and to enact certain powers in this regard. Uh, this is incredibly Indeed. shocking, and Baltimore, of course, five hours behind where we are here in, in the UK. So there's still there are many people waking up to this tragedy, John. Indeed. I mean, it, it, it's a shock to, to everyone. And um, one has to have sympathy for the relatives of people who have not got home. And as I say, the priority is safety of life. So I would hope a very quick rescue operation was initiated. I'm sure it was. Yes. And John, what about the vessel itself? What will happen to that? That's your area of expertise. Presumably it's been very damaged by this, of course. Um, what will happen to that, to that vessel? Well, the, the, the vessel will undoubtedly be berthed uh, and put under the control of the local authorities. So the ship owner will have no say in what the ship does. It'll be required to... So that'll just be up to the authorities. They'll, they'll sort of take over in terms of what happens now. And presumably the vessel will be thoroughly investigated in terms of what happened. Was it human error? Was there some other cause, for example? Absolutely. It'll be a very forensic investigation. And the crew will all be interviewed, particularly the crew members who were on the bridge. And they will go through the usual tests for drug and alcohol uh, I'm not suggesting that was a factor, but that is something that the U.S. Coast Guard will invariably do. So it's um, it, it, it's out of the ship owner's hands now, and it'll be entirely in the hands of the authorities. 
Yes, that's a matter of routine in terms of what happens there. I mean, human error may well have happened, but what are the other things that could have happened that presumably navigation systems could have gone wrong? What are, what are the kind of things that could have happened here? Well, I imagine the ship was on hand steering as it went up the river. That would be normal. But there may have been a machinery breakdown. The, the, the steering gear may have malfunctioned. That's the, the uh, possible uh, cause of what happened. And this will all be forensically investigated by the US Coast Guard and other authorities. John, thank you very much indeed for your thoughts on that. That's John Noble there, who's a marine salvage expert. Thank you to him. And just as we were uh, chatting to John there, we heard the news that the governor of Maryland, Wes Moore, he's a Democrat, and he has said that there is now a state of emergency in Maryland. It's uh, not even 20 past five in the morning there. This happened at their time at about 1.30 in the morning. And of course, people in Baltimore and right across the United States will be waking up to this tragedy. We don't know the number of people who have been uh, who have hopefully not lost their lives, but that's probably inevitable, or at least 20 people in the water. And if we get any more details on that between now and one o'clock, of course, we'll bring it to you. And I'm sure we'll talk about this throughout the uh, throughout the day here on uh, Talk TV. And Sophia, this is just absolutely dreadful. And of course, the investigation starts now. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this will be a very long investigation where people are um, questioned very specifically. It sounds mm -hmm. like there were two people at the helm of the ship as this was going down. And I know there's been previously... There's yeah, John been... said on the bridge there. And just, just to clarify, that's on the bridge of the ship, obviously, not the bridge we're talking about here in the Chesapeake Bay, the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Yeah, yeah exactly. And there will be questions as to why they were going so close to the edge of the bridge and that why they were not steering through the middle of whether they had the training and the expertise to navigate this very uh, tricky channel. Mm. Um, and I'm sure all those questions will be asked and hopefully answers for those who are undoubtedly caught up in the disaster and their families will be answered soon. We'll, of course, bring you the very latest on this. If we either any developments whatsoever during the course of this programme, we'll bring that to you. That breaking news overnight that in Baltimore on the eastern seaboard of the United States, a bridge has collapsed. Incredibly shocking figures just like... Uh, um, images, I should say, of how quickly that bridge just collapsed. We were talking about that with John Noble. We'll bring you uh, more on that, of course. Um, just to talk about, we were talking about the royal family and that breaking news in regard to Sean uh, Coombs and uh, Prince Harry being named in a $30 million lawsuit. Uh, his uh, uh, producer, Lil Rod, throwing uh, Prince Harry's name into that. No suggestion, obviously, that Prince Harry was involved in any sex trafficking parties whatsoever. But on, on to, uh, I mean, keeping with the royals,